hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm just going to make a very short video i'm trying to show you people um so many things you can do with avocado so today i'm making my own version of guacamole so i'll be making um the guacamole because it's something i really i'm trying to find like different things i can do with avocado and i i have like i love to eat meat as well and i realized that i could have this as a dip so yeah let's just go straight to the point this is my avocado this is one avocado by the way it's really big so all i did i just take my spoon and mash it up like that neatly just do a quick mash up you don't really want it to be like smooth because you really want to have the whole i don't know bits and bits in there so yeah this should not take this should take about maybe one or two minutes if you're quick like me <laughs> so i'll just mash that up like so and there you go you need to buy an avocado that is actually ripe or if you buy one that is not really really ripe you could just wait on it for a little bit to get ripe and then you can have your guacamole i like mine like just just right <laughs> like goldilocks and the beer you know this bed is just right yeah so that's it so i've mashed it up i'm going to put it in my bowl like this and yeah next up i'm going to be putting in my this is one tomatoes i just chopped up i'm going to put that in there now your guacamole people make guacamole in different ways but this is my own version that's why i said this is my own version yeah next up i'm going to be putting in my garlic this is um one little clove of garlic in there and this is one onion but i think i need to use just half so i'm going to split it into two yeah and just put that in i love onions by the way guys so i'm sure you know that about me already and here i have lime which is going to give it a bit of flavor so i'm going to chop that up and uh squeeze out all the goodness in there like that i know a lot of you are going like what's she making but if you try this <coughs> you're gonna come look for me so be careful not to put in the seeds i usually just like to squeeze in my my lime directly and make sure before you start to do any of these things you wash your hands thoroughly okay because it's important to stay clean so i'm trying to make it easier and i just pick up the seeds with the knife here just take it out and squeeze in there as well make sure to use lime and not lemon some people like to use lemon but i think lime gives it more of that zesty flavor that we're trying to achieve next up um you could use cilantro leaves but i prefer to use um whole oregano like different leaves i just put in a little bit of that this is just a pinch actually and i'm going to put in rosemary leaves as well just i'm going to use a teaspoon and just take a little bit like a quarter teaspoon you can see that that should do Next up, I'm going to use my marjoram leaves as well. I told you guys, these are part of my favorite flavors. Just put a pinch. And this is a spice that people rarely buy. Unless maybe they want to make um, maybe peppered meat or something. But I love lemon pepper seasoning. It has its own flavor. I haven't even opened this one because it's a new one. So I'm going to open that up. So, and take just a quarter teaspoon as well, shove it in my mix, and I love pepper, and this is like dried pepper, 
grinded neatly my uh, my friend's mother makes this so I bought it from her so I'm going to be using like half teaspoon of this dried pepper it's usually spiced with garlic and ginger just a little bit of garlic a little bit of ginger and then I'm going to be putting a little bit of my favorite seasoning no chicken just a little bit so yeah you just mix it like that mix it all in I'm sure to you it looks yucky but my dears this is a delicious dip like do you know what you can do with this you can actually have things like cucumber yeah just take a slice of cucumber and rub this on it and eat it and you're good so yeah this is my guacamole what i would do if you you could serve this like this immediately or you could freeze it for about one hour and then serve it whichever works for you but me i don't think i can wait because my meat is already ready for me to chop i'm going to take a picture and post it so don't forget to like subscribe follow me on instagram at unusual chef aisha and tell your friends tell their friends to follow me to like to subscribe drop your comments and yeah thank you bon appetit